Okay, so good morning. This week's topic is intercultural communication. So why do cultures differ? Okay, we do have some things here. We have the history, educational backgrounds, social backgrounds, ethnic, religion, ecology, and technology. As you notice here, there are different people from different places. And I believe that these people have different cultures okay, in India. <clears throat> so to this presentation, today's presentation, we have five questions. We are going to unlock these five questions. Number one here is what is intercultural communication? What's the importance of intercultural communication? The do's and don'ts of intercultural communication, dining etiquettes of different cultures, and conclusion. Types of cultural communication. So we have types. Cross-cultural communication, the one I mean our top our topic for this week, and international international communication, multicultural communication. Okay. So what is intercultural communication? Intercultural communication refers to effective communication between people, workers, clients of different cultural background. It also includes managing thought patterns in nonverbal communication. So again, class, it refers to the effective communication between people, workers, clients of different cultural background. Let's say, in the you know in the seed slide here there are different people from different with different nationalities question is and how are you going to deal with them since you do have uh, different cultures with one another okay that is why we have to unlock as to what really international intercultural communication really is okay examples for cultural differences we have the Arabic language is written from right to left and almost all other languages are written from left to right. So you notice, aside, in, aside here in Philippines, most of the countries, most of the countries are or had been practicing writing from left to right. But in Arabic, they are doing or they are writing from right to left. Now, in order for us to be a competent communicator, we do not need to discriminate them or shall we say calling them a bit weird because of their procedure but rather it is we have to broaden our mind that this is really how they do in or this is really how they do in writing from right to left okay and notice even in during the anglo-saxon uh, during the foundation of english People before were used to write from right to left until such time when one of the proponents in English had founded the English Academy. And then it is then when there are, you know, the standards of writing begin or began to uh, flourish. Okay, so during the time when, uh, when the Academy, English Academy was our you know, during the foundation of the English Academy, it is also that time when people became educated, okay? Until even today, that there is really a standard in writing. Okay, in America, people shake hands and even hug each other. But in India, we just join hands to say, we just join hands to say namaskar okay so say for example whenever you meet your friend along the way in india you say namaskar julius namaskar ruli namaskar nathan okay they don't usually do hugging but instead namaskar namaskar but in america it's opposite usually whenever they met somebody they just hug one another or each other. Question, in, does in Philippines or does hugging is common in Philippines? 
or does hugging common in Philippines? Answer is no, it is not common. But another question, is it occurring in the Philippines or the people doing that in the Philippines? Answer is yes, but not common. Okay, because again, we belong to low context culture, or high context culture, which means to say that culture is sensitive. Philippines and other Asian countries are having cultures that are sensitive. Okay, so notice when, uh, when uh, you see, whenever you see women who are hugging here in the Philippines, you may interpret them as uh, rich or like social. But to be honest, that is just how they do it. We just interpret that way because of our culture because it is not that bold or common in our culture. Another one here is need for intercultural communication. Again, success of any international business. <coughs> it allows workers from different cultures to work together as a group, worldwide marketing campaign, and increase in international business. Just try to imagine class if we don't have intercultural communication, what will gonna happen to our businesses here. So say for example, the goods that are being imported and exported in and out in, you know, in our country. So say for example, who produce the gasoline, you know, the gasoline, the oil that we had been using here in our industry. Of course, it is the foreign country, particularly in the Middle Eastern country. Okay, so that is the need for inter cultural communication. Next is the two trends of intercultural communication. First here is globalization. Globalization slash modernization. Okay, that is part of our industry. Second is multicultural workforce. You see in the slide here, there are different people. Multicultural workforce meaning to say, Multicultural workforce, meaning to say how workers, okay. Anyway, we will be digging this one on the next slide. So worry not. Okay, so that is the two trends are globalization and multicultural workforce. Okay, what is globalization? Globalization refers to the reduction and removal of barriers between national borders in order to facilitate the flow of goods, capital, services, and labor. Take note class, okay? The word barriers here, okay? You notice in the Philippines, we do have BFAN. Say for example, the product MX3. MX3, pampalakas ng resistensya, laban sa mga sakit, okay? Barriers again, all products here in the Philippines are being being filtered by the Bureau of Food, okay, BFAD, okay, that is BFAD. They're the one, they're the one in charge in filtering all the products here in the Philippines. Say, for example, if China would send some products towards here in the Philippines, then the BFAD department will then take charge of it. They're going to, uh, to, filter or to inspect whether the whether the, the said products are not harmful to the environment and to the people as well. So that is their work, okay? Between national borders, and okay, notice between national borders in order to facilitate. So BFAD had been facilita facilitizing, okay, the flow of goods. Okay, notice there are some goods that are being imported here in the Philippines in which the qualities are not good, maybe because of some illegal processes. Okay, so that is globalization. Multicultural workforce on the other hand class refers to the changing age, gender, ethnicity, physical ability and race of 
employees across all types and places of work. Again, it refers to the changing age. Multicultural, multi means many, congregation, okay? Many or congregation. Say for example, in the Seventh-day Adventist church or in, in, in all churches in which it has numbers of people, we call it congregation or slash multicultural, okay? multicultural workforce, impact of globalization, business sector, e.g. import and export of food, electronic goods, etc. to other countries, building a business friendly environment with other nations. Okay, the first bullet here is about uh, import and exporting goods, electronic goods, food, etc. Well, what products does Philippine have been sending to the other countries? Examples of these are bananas, mangoes, pineapples, and many more. We add, we are, or the government had been exporting this one to another countries. Okay, here in the Philippines class, <coughs> um, the banana is a bit cheap, right? It is really cheap. But in some countries in which banana plantation is not common, it is very expensive. It is very expensive. I am not exaggerating here, but that is really the reality. Okay? So building a business friendly. That is why our products here that are being sent to the other country must have a high quality so that they will keep uh, buying our products. Okay, spreading of multi multiculturalism, collaboration. So for example, Indy or NG Run film was persuaded by animatronic technicians from other countries also. Okay, so that is one of the impacts of you know, globalization. Increase in international travel and to 